Hey, are you thinking about getting in real estate and don't quite know what steps to take? Today, we're gonna dive deep into it. Hey, what's going on? It's Ricky. So today I'm gonna to give you my five steps to starting out your real estate career on the right foot. This is not gonna be a long video because I know you're busy. So click subscribe and hit the bell if you wanna continue seeing videos like this where I'm sharing everything that has brought me success in the real estate business over the last 16 years. Step number one, and this is after you get your real estate license, okay? Once you get your license, what do you do then? I know a lot of you are getting hung up on a couple of things. What company to work for? What do you do? How do you get started? So that's what this video is gonna be about. So step number one is to find a company. A lot of you are worried about where you're gonna work, this, that, the commission split, the brand, does it matter, and all that stuff. And I'm here to tell you that it does not matter. It doesn't matter where you work in the first couple years of your career. Go somewhere where you feel comfortable with the people that are at the company that you feel like they're gonna help you learn. People that are gonna help you learn how to write contracts, they're, they're gonna teach you how to show property, look up stuff on MLS, you know, all the basics of real estate. It doesn't matter about the brand or the split or any of that stuff because there's about a two year learning curve in real estate for you to kind of get your feet wet in the business and learn what it's all about. Once you go through that period, then you're gonna take a step back, take a deep breath, and figure out what brand you really wanna align yourself with long term. Step number two is to find a mentor. Maybe it's one of those people in that company that you picked. Maybe it's me, maybe it's somebody online, maybe it's a coach. You know, I don't know who it's gonna be, but you need to find a mentor, someone who can help lead you in the right direction. Someone who, who has been there, someone who has done what you wanna do. Um, that relates to where you are in your career. That's what you're looking for in a mentor. So step number two is to find a mentor. Step number three is to call your sphere of influence. Everybody you know, friends, family, coworkers, friends from high school, everybody you know, you need to call them. Um, and this can be awkward because you're calling them and you feel like you're being salesy, but don't make it salesy. Your entire career, nothing about your career should be salesy. Nothing about real estate should be salesy. You should call them. You should say, hey, I'm in real estate. Is there anything I can do for you? If not, is there an agent in the area you would work with if you were to buy or sell something? If not, then look, I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes that you might want to buy or sell something. You know, I'll stay in touch with you. What's your email address? Make sure you have all everybody's email addresses. Okay, that is your database, the emails, right? Their emails and their cell phone numbers that is your database, right? That's how you connect to them through email, through text message, through social media, right? So make sure you have all their contact information and start sending them. I like to send weekly emails, okay? You may put them on some kind of drip system or CRM or social media, or I don't know how you're gonna do it, what your system of staying in touch with people is gonna be, but you need a system to stay in touch with people. Okay, step number four is to go to forsalebyowner.com and call every single for sale by owner in your area and set an appointment to go see the property. Go there, see the property, meet the people, meet the, pe the owners of the house, let them show you the house, find out why they're wanting to sell, figure out what you can do to help them. Okay, so for sale, I'm not a big advocate of for sale by owners over the long term of your career, but I think that for brand new agents, immediately you get so much experience in the market. You get to see a property, talk to a live prospect, maybe show some property, maybe get a listing. You get to do so much, so quick um, with for sale by owners. So you need to call every single for sale by owner in your area and go see them, talk to them, find out why they're selling, see what you can do to help them. Step number five is to start farming a subdivision or neighborhood or a condo complex or a road or an area. You need to start geographically farming a specific neighborhood or complex that you like a lot, that you feel like is a good price range for you, that you feel like has good turnover. And the way you're gonna find this is you're gonna search in your MLS, what I like to call the sweet spot in the market. I like to pull up the last year's sales. I like to find all the sales between one and 200, two and three, three and four, four and five, five to 750, 750 to a million, a million to a million and a half, a million and a half to two million, and figure out which price range is selling the most, right? 
um, what's the highest price range that has the most transactions? That's where I want to be. And then I'm going to find a subdivision that fits that price range and then I'm going to attack. The first thing I'm going to do when I start attacking a subdivision or complex is I'm going to get Red X. Red X is a dialer. Red X has Geo Leads. Geo Leads finds phone numbers of property owners. You put an address in, in the search bar, it finds up to 500 owners around that address, finds their phone number, some are cell phone numbers, finds their address, everything you need to call them. It also has a dialer. It'll also dial single dialer, double dialer, or triple dialer. I use triple dialer because no matter where you get your phone numbers, if you're buying them online, some of them are going to be bad. And if I'm using a triple dialer, the triple dialer will cut right through the bad numbers and get right to the people that talk to me. You guys don't know how good you have it as new agents to have this technology at your fingertips. I used to have to look up 100 numbers over a four or five hour period of time, one by one, and then dial them with my fingers for the next 10 hours. It took me 10 hours to, to call 100 people. Now I can look up those 100 numbers in a matter of seconds and then call them all within an hour and a half. What used to take me 15 hours now takes me an hour and a half. I do things 10 times faster now. So let's go back through the steps. Step number one is to find a company, people that you feel comfortable with. Tip number two, find a mentor. Someone who's gonna show you the ropes, who has been where you want to be. Tip number three is to call your sphere of influence. Call everybody you know, do not be salesy, do not be pushy. Let them know you're here if they need anything, when they need anything, and get their contact information. Tip number four, go to forsaleByOwner.com and call every single for sale by owner on the website that's in your area, set an appointment, go talk to them, find out why they wanna sell and what you can do to help them. And tip number five is to start farming. Geographically farming a neighborhood that's in the sweet spot price range of your market. So I hope these five steps really help you get started in real estate. This is exactly the steps I would take if I were brand new in the business in today's market. There's two important links in the description below. One is to get my phone scripts completely free. The second is to get a really good discount with Red X to where you can find those phone numbers and make those calls. I really enjoyed doing this video for you. Click subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified every Tuesday and Thursday when I'm putting out new videos for real estate agents. I'm trying to reduce the failure rate in the real estate industry by bringing awareness that everything in real estate is a win-win. Talk to you guys soon.